Okay, friends, here we go. This is what you see when you walk out of my front door. I am trying very hard to grow my wisteria because I think they're beautiful. And I got them two years ago and they were nothing but a little stick thinner and smaller than a pencil and they were a gift from my girlfriend Cynthia and I just love them. I can't wait till they bloom. I haven't let them bloom because you see all those squiggly things there? Well, they're not going to let my wisteria bloom until I start cutting them and I don't want to start cutting them until I finish making the arch that goes all the way across. And I keep a hanger right there so that I can pull them and thread them. And yeah, this is a makeshift archway. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And our little courtyard here. All right, this plant this plant is, oh, about 30 years old in my possession. It's been there 22 years. It was given to me by one of my dearest, dearest friends, Purses. Hi, Purses, all the way in Baltimore. Okay, see all these weeds? Really? Yeah, I have not been able to get them out of here or tend to this. It's just way too hot for me. No, you guys stay there. They know better. See all the weeds? Yeah, Roundup, the most expensive kind. I sprayed on them last month. And there you have my lantana, which I love it. Butterflies are always on it, but it looks really unruly. And this is actually a hibiscus that has these blood red hibiscus flowers, which I just love. And our hedge. I don't know what they're called. Identification needed over here. Yep, <laughs> looking tropical. Oh, there's Heather there in between. All right, this is going to be more of a tropical feel to it when I finish with it. This area right in here, I want to pull these out and I want to put a bird of paradise, but not that kind of bird of paradise. Those bloom in white. I want to put the bird of paradise that stays low to the ground, has compact, long leaves, and they have orange and purple flowers. So I'm looking forward to having one of those and plant it right there. Over here, my palms, which I need to cut them a little bit. And back there, I am very fortunate. And see what we have back there? That is one of the babies from the plant that Persis gave me. I wanted to capture this hibiscus. Look at this. So yeah, I have three kinds of hibiscus. These were my first ones. And this one's not quite open. And nor does it have the size that it usually gets. They usually get as big as the other ones. This is the morning glory that Todd 
gave me from Todd's Tropicals. He also gave me this red banana, which I absolutely love in this corner. I will be fixing all of this up all throughout here. I'm going to put my little edging there and fill this up with mulch. I will be doing this sometime in October or November when I can work on my yard. And over here I have another hibiscus. It is the same color as the other one, but for some reason the flowers are coming out really small. More lilies and more weeds. And I do have another wisteria. And it looks like it's gonna give me a bloom, I don't know. And it is climbing up this bottle brush. Yes. Oh, I had not realized how big it is in there already. Oh my. Oh, I'm happy right now. I am very happy right now. I am happy. I am happy. This is the bottle brush tree, which is halfway dead, but the bark is really good for climbers. And this is a Bogan Villa. If anybody is from Florida watching this, you see this? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Thorns. And usually it costs a lot of money to get these removed from your yard. And I have to cut all the bottom part Out, so it'll start growing more and more up the tree and the yard needs to be weeded here. Of course all this is weeds. There's no grass here and something has been digging here. I have no idea what. My wonderful crepe myrtle. It has got a fungus. Yep, gotta spray this puppy today. Because I wanted a crepe myrtle so bad. This looks pretty sorry right here. Have to fix it. One little thing. One more. Here we go. And here she is. That's my lemon tree. I bought this one actually and spent money on it. This is my front yard, everyone. Needs a lot of work on it. Now you see why I hadn't filmed it. But I wanted to show you Libby's little garden. Bye guys, signing off. It's me, Libby, from Tampa, Florida. And here you have my chihuahuas. They're waiting for me. Lolly, my jelly bean. Lulu. And of course, we have Finny. Bye, everyone.